so now i'll be starting with the cisco packet tracer uh, in this lab i'll be uh, creating an iot network to control the lights and fans and the garage door to begin with i'll select a, a network device a switch to connect all the devices i select it to 9 5dt switch so this is how it looks uh, in real life next i'll connect a server for our iot application and then all the equipments that i need to control i will be controlling the fan light garage door and a humidifier I will connect them with all with this uh, copper crossover link sorry copper straight through Fast Ethernet zero. Wow. Similarly, from here to the fan, from the switch to the light. from the switch to the garage door now first we need to con configure the server we double click on the server go to desktop and IP configuration in the static IP we give it an IP address of 192.168.0.1 and the subnet mask is automatically set to 255.255.255.0 and we close it for now uh, we go to fan config fast ethernet 0 and give it IP address of 192.168.0.2 and the subnet mask is automatically set to close it we do the same with light it will be given an address of uh, 192.168.0.2 submit mask is set for the garage door we give it uh, an IP address of 192.168.0.4 and just Humidifier will give address as 192.168.0.4. So this is 2, 3, 4, and this one is actually 5.
this one was four, right? Yes. So now we have assigned the IP addresses to all the elements in the network and they are all connected by a, a single switch at in the center. We go to server and uh, so services IoT and the registration and we switch on the registration server. Now we go to the desktop to IoT monitor and uh, we uh, and the server address of uh, IoT is 192.168.0.1. We set the username to admin and password to admin and login. So we need to sign up first. For username, we write admin and the same with password admin. We create the monitor. For now, we close it. We have to add a remote server to all the elements. We add the server address to 192.168.0.1 and the username as admin and password as admin and connect. I do the same for every other device. Click on connect. Let's verify the two devices that we have added have been uh, are, if they are being displayed in the IoT monitor. So here they are. I'll also add the garage door. server IoT monitor uh, so there was there is some problem with the humidifier we cannot connect it okay so we have not assigned it an IP address yet 2.168.0.5 and the subnet mask configuration settings now it has connected. See, you can see the humidifier here. Now I'll be controlling all the network elements from the IoT monitor. You can see that the fan speed has increased. If I do if I changes to low, the fan speed changes to low and I can even switch it off, I will keep it high, I will turn on the light or I can turn off it, I will keep the light dim, I can open the garage door and close it and uh, even control the humidifier. So that's it with the Cisco Packet Tracer IoT. Thank you.